It's a typical morning in the Eastern Caribbean. Inside supermarkets and out on the streets, there's a varied supply of locally grown produce. This is a definite improvement from just over 18 months ago when the Caribbean was severely afflicted by the shocking rise in global food prices. Increases in the cost of agricultural inputs also affected small local producers who struggled to earn a living. Today's heightened agricultural productivity is due in part to the Initiative on Soaring Food Prices, a program of the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, FAO. Since early 2008, FAO has been supporting governments in supplying agricultural inputs like seeds, fertilizer, animal feed and medication, as well as technical assistance to boost production and stabilize local food prices. The program also helps vulnerable farmers to feed themselves and to earn more. The results have been encouraging. I would say we've delivered to the farming public, our beneficiaries, approximately 90,000 seedlings. The seedlings consist um, mainly of tomato, sweet pepper, cabbage, and um, eggplant. From our historic survey, those are the main vegetables that backyard farmers uh, would want to do and uh, we have concentrated our efforts on those. I'm just a small farmer trying to get uh, along in the farming industry and I think it's the right thing getting into at this moment because of the, you know, the, the downturn that we have in the economical situation. You come up, up here and you come and you collect whatever is available in seedlings, which is a great help for me for a little while now. I'm one from the Herbs and Spice group. We have formed a cooperative. We got some seedlings and we got some seeds too so that we could raise some funds so, so that um, the, the, the group will have a little more money in our hands. I've been able to increase because it came in a time that it was, I would say, hard, you know, so. Getting those things give me a boost, really. Everybody should do a little thing like this, too. It will you know, really help, help with the situation, you know. Because from the, from the time we plant, I um, plant these, right? Maybe, maybe about 10 times. Right now, I'm cooking. I have okra and spinach and thyme and seasoned pepper from out of my backyard in my pot. We all contribute, me, my husband, my sons, we all water. Sometimes we'll walk and see a grass and just pull the grass out. It's a family affair. We sell the spinach, the thyme, everything in our backyard. We sell them in the market on Saturdays and we also use them and we also share them. So it's a little everything. The supply has been excellent. Um, I believe that most people have been able to reap a fair amount. Many of the people have met me and said that they have been able to share this stuff with their friends and their family. And I think we have seen for the very first time in Antigua and Barbuda a bumper supply of cabbages, which has not ever happened during my 25 years in the sector. And it has been good. The other commodities like the tomatoes and the cucumbers and so on have also been in very good supply since the project came on board. With such positive early results, Antigua's program seemed to be right on track until disaster struck, ironically, on World Food Day 2008. We had a situation last year, late last year. We had some tremendous downpour of rain as a result of the passing of Hurricane Omar in the region and it totally devastated the farming sector completely wipe out any production that was in the ground, mostly through flooding. We recognized that we had a crisis on our hand and something had to be done immediately. So with, in consultation with the FAO technicians who visited after the hurricane to assess the situation, we had to shift the focus of the ISFP in midstream and begin to target some of the inputs to the larger, most capable farmers to help them to recover, recover in a short time. And within about three months, these farmers were actually marketing produce as a result of the, the direct intervention of the ISFP. After the passage of Hurricane Omar, a lot of the 
pineapples farmers' fields were washed away. And we were able to utilize some of the inputs, especially the mulch, to replant the pineapple fields to enable us to get pineapple slips and so enable the farmers to recover quite quickly. We're in the southern section of Antigua and this is my farm. I'm producing sweet peppers and butternuts but unfortunately the rain came down and destroyed everything so we're just in the the phase of restarting again. Yes, FAO has been assistant to me by with fertilizer, drips, seeds, because you know farmers always need assistance because the dry is against us sometimes and the rain sometimes come and it works against us and any amount of help we can get, I guess all farmers would appreciate it. Well, we're very proud to uh, be partnering with FAO over the years. Uh, Antigua had many programs that were successful. Um, the latest one was just after Hurricane Homer, when they really came on board and support Antigua tremendously to bounce back. So I want to thank all the donor agencies for supporting FAO, and I hope that they will continue to do so. My task is to try and use all the resources available to me to reduce our food bill, and we'll see a better Antigua and Barbuda. The Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, helping the Caribbean combat high food prices.